Hey guys, what's going on? Elric here once again on Tech of Tomorrow. Now you guys, if you happen to see it, we had got the drone in before, but we really didn't know what the fracking heck we were doing with the thing. And we actually had one of the propellers on the wrong way, so we could never get the thing to take off. Uh, yeah, it was a kind of a floppy day, so we had the video as the drone failed. But thanks to all you guys, all your comments, we figured out what was going on, listening to all your comments about setting up the ground, putting the controllers there, changing propellers the right way. We listened to it all. And so we headed back to the park. Let's see what happens on day two. So once again, we headed over the park. Now this time we had a complete success. You guys can see I was able to get the drone off the ground and fly around the park successfully many times without a problem. We even have some footage from the onboard cam that you guys can see that shows me flying around and crashing. We really had a lot of fun this day because obviously we got the drone to fly. It did take a few tries before I was able to do it perfectly and get it to go all the way away from me and all the way back. But after a few tries, I actually was able to do that. I was able to take the drone all the way to the end of Bill Blevins Park, all the way across the side, bring it down, and then actually land the drone pretty much right in front of me. And it was so much fun, we found a couple of kids in the park. This is Joshua and Ty. And these guys begged and begged. They're like, man, please let us fly the drone, dude. And so after they fetched the drone for us for a little while, I was cool enough to give those guys each their own few tries doing it. And here you guys can see them flying the drone around the park. They really had a great time, and it does prove that even a 12-year-old child can pick up this thing and start flying. The control unit, although it's not the absolute best controller in the world, because obviously this drone's about $149, it still works perfectly well. Now, a few things I gotta say about our day in the park here today, though, is uh, with some of these crashes, came destruction. Now, the first thing that I broke was the onboard camera. I had a crazy experience where I crashed into a tree. We also had a few crazy accidents where the thing was just way high up in the sky. We cut off the controls and it fell straight to the ground, almost breaking the legs. And after many, many crashes, I'd say we had about nine or 10 crashes. The unit had a slight bit of damage, but we were able to actually come home and fix that damage and keep the drone going. folks so obviously day one for us was a complete fail and there's a, probably a reason for that you know there's an old saying called rtfm you guys are going what the heck does that mean it means read the fracking manual and after looking around and we start digging in deeper okay we actually found out okay duh, we did have the propeller on upside down but that was pretty much the only thing we did wrong we just never really seen this thing before and thought it just should be a simple thing of just throwing them on there and going to the park. Okay, obviously it does take a little bit more thinking than that. So I retract my last comments about it not being cool for kids and stuff because obviously as you guys can see, it's totally cool for kids. Now, the only thing you gotta watch out for is this thing really does go high in the damn sky. I mean, we were honestly freaking shocked at how you know high it went up in the sky. One of the final things is Jesus had the thing way up in the sky and they were going, do a barrel roll, do a barrel roll. And he did some of the controller, but then he turned it back on and it actually flew straight at high volume to the ground. But hey, we fixed it, it's still going. So honestly, I can say for the price that this is, it's less than 140 bucks, it's pretty damn durable. It stood up to me and my antics, it stood up to Jesus and his antics. It also stood up to both the kids. Joshua and Ty both dropped the thing on the ground and it's still up and going. So I do retract my previous statements and I think that for the price for an entry level drone, this thing's pretty cool. I mean, obviously maybe the camera should be a little bit more durable, but come on. 
you can pay more than 140 bucks for any camera. So for 140 bucks and lower for a drone that has a camera, I guess the lesson is just to be a little more damn careful, but that comes with training. Like usual, all the information, we'll have links to this, and I believe the people that provide this was a company called Banggood, so we'll have a link to that down below, so if you guys wanna check one of these out, I gotta say, they're a hell of a lot of fun once you know what the hell you're doing. See ya.